Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on surface area and volume. So in this video again, we'll discuss some some of the important questions. So some of the very important questions from the exam point of view. So which are very useful and very helpful to solve further questions, right? So let's get started with the first question, which is question number one. Now the question says that we need to find the volume of sphere whose surface area is 154 centimeter square. So it's very interesting question. Let's see how we can solve this question. So first of all, we need to write the dimensions or whatever is given. So it's given that surface area of sphere is 154 centimeter square, right? So this means surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square, which will be equals to 154. Right, so this will come out to be four into twenty-two by seven into r square is one hundred and fifty-four. So r square times four times twenty-two will be equal to one hundred and fifty-four times seven. So r square will be one hundred and fifty-four times seven upon four into twenty-two. Right, so we need to cancel it out. So it will be eleven two. Eleven ones are eleven, fourteen, right? So this will be two times seven. So r square comes out to be seven times seven upon four. So this means r can be written as seven times seven upon four under root. So r will be equals to seven by two. This means the radius of sphere is seven by two centimeter, right? now we need to find the volume of sphere so we can write volume of sphere equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube right so this will be equals to 4 by 3 times 22 by 7 times r is 7 by 2 whole cube right so this will Come out to be four by three times twenty-two by seven times seven by two times seven by two times seven by two, right? So this and this get cancelled. So two ones are two twos are two, and this and get cancelled. So this will be twenty-two times seven times seven upon three times two, right? So again this and this get cancelled. So this will come out to be eleven times seven times seven upon three, right? So this will be eleven times forty-nine upon three. So when you solve this, this will come out to be one hundred seventy-nine point six six seven centimeter cube. So this is how we can use the concept of surface area of sphere to find the volume of sphere, right? So let's move on to the next question, which is question number two. Now. This question is very interesting, so you have to watch this part of the video very carefully again, right? So let's get started. It's given that a dome of a building is in the form of hemisphere. You have to be very careful. It's given hemisphere. From inside, it is it was whitewashed at the cost of four hundred ninety eight point ninety six. Now, if the cost of whitewashing is two per square meters, we need to find the inside surface area of the dome. And the volume of air inside the dome. So it's very interesting question. Let's see how we can solve this question. So first of all, we need to write the dimension. So it's given that first of all, the dome of building is hemisphere, which is very important. You have to make a note of it, right? And it's given that cost of whitewashed. Is four hundred ninety eight point ninety six, right? And rate of whitewash is two per meter square, right? So we need to find the inside surface area of the dome, right? So we can say that we all know that total cost is always equals to surface area. Times 
the cost of rate of whitewashing right so total cost it's given 498.96 which is equals to we can write surface area time cost of rate of whitewashing which is 2 right so we can say that surface area of inside of dome is 498.96 upon 2 right so when you divide this it will come out to be 249.48 meter square right so we can say that inside surface area of the dome is 249.48 meter square now we need to find the volume of air inside the dome for this first of first of all we need to find the radius right so we can use the surface area to find the radius so we can say that surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square right so we can say that 2 pi r square is equals to 249.48 right so this will come out to be 2 times 22 by 7 times r square equals to 249.48 right so Further, we can write r square will be equals to 2 times 22 times r square will be equals to 249.48 times 7. Right? So, further, we can write r square will be equals to 249.48 times 7 upon 2 into 22. Right? So when you divide this, this will come out to be 3969 upon 100, right? So we, we can write R square as 3969 upon 100. So R will come out to be under root of 3969 upon 100. So when you solve this, it will come out to be 6.3 meter, right? So we can say that radius of dome is 6.3 meter now what's the next step is we need to find the volume so we can say that volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube right so we can write this as volume of air inside the dome is 2 by 3 pi r cube so this will be 2 by 3 into pi so pi is 22 by 7 into r is 6.3 cube right so this will come out to be 2 by 3 times 22 by 7 times 6.3 times 6.3 times 6.3 right so this will be 7 ones are 7 0 0.9 so 3 ones are 3 0 0.3 so this will come out to be 2 times 22 times 0 0.3 times 6.3 times 6.3 right so when you solve this, this will come out to be 523.908 meter cube. So this is how we can use the concept of surface area to find the volume of hemisphere. So, right. So let's move on to the next question, which is question number three. Now, the question says that 27 solid iron spheres, each of radius r, and surface area S are melted to form a sphere with surface area S dash. We need to find the radius R dash of a new sphere and we need to find the ratio of S and S dash. Now it's a very interesting question 
and this these type of questions generally comes in short answer question in examination so you have to watch this part of video very carefully again so first of all we need to write what is given so it's given 27 old solid iron spheres of radius each radius r and surface area s right they are melted to form a new surface of a surface area s dash right so first of all we need to find the radius r dash of the new surface now whenever a solid metal is melted to form another shape the only volume transfers you have to be remember always whenever we melt one shape or we mix n number of shapes to form a bigger shape so it's only volume remains same right so this means we can say that 27 times volume of each old sphere will be equals to volume of new sphere which is formed after melting right so we can write 27 times 4 by 3 pi r cube equals to 4 by 3 pi r dash cube why because the surface area of the new sphere will be s dash and the radius will be r dash right now this and this get cancelled this and this get cancelled so this comes out to be 27 r cube equals to r dash whole cube right now so 27 we can write 3 cube into r cube equals to r dash whole cube so this comes out to be 3 r whole cube equals to r dash whole cube right so r dash this and this get cancelled through the laws of exponents so r dash will come out to be 3 r right so we can say that radius of new sphere is 3 times radius of each old sphere right so this is how we can use the concept to solve any type of question now the second part says that we need to find the ratio of s and s dash means the ratio of old surface area to a ratio of new surface area right so we can say that surface area of old sphere s upon surface area of new sphere s dash will be equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube upon 4 by 3 pi r dash cube right now right sorry it's surface area so it will be 4 pi r square upon 4 pi r dash square right now so this and this get cancelled right since it's for surface area so we need to write this formula only right now so this will come out to be r square upon r dash square now this will be r square now we have r dash as 3r so we can put so this will be 3r whole square so this will come out to be r square upon 9r square so this and this get cancelled right so the ratio comes out to be 1 is to 9 right so we can say that surface area of old sphere upon surface area of new sphere ratio is 1 is to 9 so this is how we can use the concept of volume or surface area to solve any type of question so let's move on to the next question question number 4 and which is also a last question of this video now the question says that capsule of medicine is in the shape of sphere of diameter 3.5 millimeters how much medicine in millimeter cube is needed to fill the capsule so it's very easy and simple question let's do this question very quickly right so first of all we need to write the dimensions so it's given that diameter of capsule is 3.5 millimeter which is in the shape of sphere right 
so we need to find how much medicine this means we need to find the volume right so we can say that amount of medicine needed to fill the capsule will be equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube so this will be 4 by 3 into pi is 22 by 7 since the value of pi is not given so we can take it as 22 by 7 into r cube so here the diameter is given so we need to take the half of a diameter so this will be 3.5 upon 2 whole cube so this will come out to be 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 times 3.5 upon 2 times 3.5 upon 2 times 3.5 upon 2 right so this and this get cancelled this and this get cancelled so 2 ones are to 11 so 7 ones are 7 0 0.5 right so this comes out to be 11 times 0 0.5 times 3.5 times 3.5 upon 3 right so when you solve this like when you times it and divide it by 3 so this will come out to be 22.46 millimeter cube so this this is the amount of medicine you need to fill the capsule so this is how we can use the concept of surface area or surface and volume of surface to solve any type of question so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching further videos have a nice day